Hello and welcome to the Rafi Solution channel. I am Rafael Ademo. In previous tutorial, we have learned about the use of Windows API functions and how we can use it to enhance the look and feel of our VBA applications. This I have demonstrated in the following tutorials. How to add maximize and minimize button to the title bar. How to add an icon to the title bar. How to hide user form title bar and how to make user form transparent. If you have not watched any of these videos, please do so to learn more about the use of Windows APIs and how you can use these free tools to customize the user form for a much better user-friendly experience. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to remove or hide the X or close button from the user form using Windows API functions. The close or X button appears at the far right in the title bar of every user form and it is normally used to close the user form. As it is with every other window or application that is opened in the computer whenever it is clicked. However, you can control what it does when it is clicked. For instance, you can decide to hide it from the title bar. You can also make it unclickable or not to perform any action when the user clicks on it. You can also add a dialog box to it so that the user would either have to accept or decline a license term or you can give a specific information to the user. Being able to control what the close button or X button does when it is clicked becomes applicable when you are designing a login form for your application. To control the behavior of the close or X button, you have to do this in the query close event and test whether the close mode property is equal to the form control menu. Then you can carry out the type of action that you want. Using the keyboard shortcut ALT plus L4 or right clicking on the title bar and clicking on close will give you the same effect as clicking on the X button. Let's learn how we can add this to our user form design. To do that, go to the developer tab, click on it and then click on the visual basic to open the visual basic editor window. When the editor opens, click on the insert tab to insert a new user form. I'm still using the old file that I have been using throughout this tutorial. Let me enlarge it. Now I'm going to add few controls to it. Let me add a text box 1, text box 2 and then a label 1 and label 2 and then a command button to it. So this will be button 1 and then button 2. Let's change the caption of the user form. So let's give it a title. Now we can run the application to see. As I have indicated earlier on, this is one of the few areas in the designing process where you would either want to remove or hide the close button but rather make the cancel or exit button do the work of the close or X button. So let's, let's exit and go into the user form code area and write the following code. The first thing that we are going to do is to prevent the user from using the X button to exit the form when it is clicked. So we can write this sub private sub user form query close. Another way is to click on this drop down menu and then come down here to select user form query close and the sub will be written for you. When this sub procedure is written for you, all what you have to do is to write this line of code in between the sub procedure. Cancel will be equal to open a bracket and then close mode will be equal to VB form on true menu and then bracket close. Let us run the user form and see what this line of code does to it. With this line of code, when you click on the X button, nothing will happen to the user form. The only way we'll be able to exit from the user form is by clicking on cancel. So let me go back into the code and then add a sub procedure to the cancel button. So we'll just have to write unload me. So this time around, when we click on the cancel button, it will unload the user form. Azumi would want a dialog box to show when the user clicks on the close or X button. Then we would have to rewrite this line of code using an if statement. So let me step down here and then write this. If close mode is equal to VB form control menu, then let me add an if. Then what should happen? I would want a dialog box to show telling the user that the X button cannot be used to exit the form. So let me write this. So 
so that is all for my code now let me comment this out and then run the form once again so now this time around when i click on it you see that the dialog box will appear telling the user that he or she cannot use the x button to exit the form but rather would have to use the cancel but which you have added the exit event to it so when you click on the exit event then the form will exit now let's say you have a beautifully designed login form with your logo or icon appearing on the title bar however you do not want this close button to appear you can hide or remove the close or x button by using windows api functions i have provided the required windows api functions in the comment section download it and open it in an editor of your choice now when you have done that copy this line of code and then go into the user form code area and then paste this so let me paste the windows api here and go back into the code that i have downloaded and then copy out this sub procedure copy it out and also come back into the user form code area and then paste it let me comment this out i would have to call this in the user form initialize event so let me copy this the remove x copy it and then click on user form go to either initialize or activate and then paste the remove x in it now when you run the user form using the windows api you can see that the x or close button has been removed from the user forms title bar but this does not stop the user from using the keyboard combination alt and then f4 to exit the form so what you'd have to do is that you would have to either enable one of these code snipers that we have already coded to prevent the user from using the keyboard shortcut to either exit the form so let's say we enable this by removing the comment from it once again with that line of code enabled when i use the keyboard shortcut alt and f4 i'll still get the information that i cannot use that to exit the form but rather i would have to click on cancel so it is advisable that you use the api functions with one of the codes that we have provided in the query close procedure thank you for your time and attention subscribe now to be the first to know when i come your way with another exciting informative and educative tutorial on this channel if you have any questions do not hesitate to let me know in the comment section please help me to grow this channel by recommending its content to friends and family thank you and bye bye for now